Well, it's all a little bit emotional on today's EMBN show, and uh, we're also going to get a little bit wild. So wild, we're going to give away an old bear wild. Well, guys, uh, I'm sure you're very aware that Obea launched the new Wild FS uh, a couple of weeks ago, and what a stunning, stunning bike it was. Uh, 170, 160 mil travel, the uh, Bosch Smart System on there. You could have either have it in the Bosch Performance CX motor or the Bosch CX Race Limited Edition. Mm -hmm. Comes in a load of sizes. Obviously, there's the MYO. Is it the MYO? MYO, yes. Yeah. So kind of what like. What does MYO stand for? I don't actually know, but it's a custom uh, design part of the website where you can go into it, choose your colours, choose what you know, colour swing arm, what graphics you want on there. Yeah, uh, really I think cool probably part. one of the most stunning looking mm -hmm. e-mountain bikes on the market currently. Mm -hmm. uh, two, I think two things stand out on that bike, Chris. I think the first thing is the fact that it's got the new top tube uh, Bosch smart system display mm -hmm. and the mini remote on the handlebar there, which is, which I think is a, is, is a kind of move away from the big mm -hmm. displays which Bosch have had, or the big displays and controllers Bosch have had in the past. Super stealth, if you want to go like low key, mm -hmm. it, it's there. And I think the other thing is the the fact that this bike weighs in at two point nine kilos with a twenty point nine. What did I say? Two point nine. That's quite light. Oh, <laughs> twenty point nine yeah. kilos with a seven hundred and fifty watt hour mm -hmm. battery. Yeah. The question is: is why do why would people consider buying, say, an Orbea Rise at like seventeen, eighteen mm -hmm. kilos with a lower sort of lower power motor, smaller battery, when you've got such an incredible flagship such as the Wild FS? And I say oh, flagship, I think it is their flagship bike. Yeah, definitely, it's a great looking bike, and I think with all those uh, factors considered, you know, it all adds up to a really good package. So if you fancy getting one of these bikes, GMBN are actually doing an Orbea giveaway on this. So all you have to do is go to the Orbea website, go onto the Myo page and design your own Orbea Wild. Get your custom graphics in there, what colors you want, and then you upload this to the GMBN comp page and you could be in with a chance of it's winning this fantastic bike. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, giving away a Wild FS, it's I mean, money. it's, mm. it's mind-blowing. It is, isn't it? I mean, folks, I mean, you've got to, you've simply got to get involved mm. in this. It is one of, you know, like I said, I think one of the standout bikes at the moment, isn't it? Definitely. And you've got to the 5th of December to get those designs in, and the winner will be announced on Dirt Shed 404 on the 9th of December. So make sure you get involved, because if you're not in it, you ain't going to win it. Mm. Okay, folks, uh, let's turn now then to the emotional side of the EMBN show this week, and it's the mechanics of emotion. And by that, we're referring to a, a relatively new brand from Northern Italy, uh, a brand called Vent. Mm. Now, I think, Chris, Vent is from the Lake Como area, and there's two bikes which uh, have grabbed our attention. Yeah, the, the LDV and the LDV 500, so two yeah, different Yeah, so we've got, so we've got a, what's the Grigna? Grigna. Grigna. So, that is so we've got an alloy bike and yeah. we've got a carbon fibre bike, haven't yeah. we? So that's an alloy bike, which is a 180 mil travel kind of enduro bike, whereas the uh, LDV is a carbon fibre version, should slightly we, shorter travel. Should well. we go into the into the LDV 500RR race so, ready? The race ready edition. Yeah. Uh, I think there's some. I think it's. I think it's a spectacularly mm. different looking bike with Looks the amazing, double, it? I think it's called a double cradle top tube on mm. there. So the, the shock sits in, in, that, in that top tube. Uh, it's actually quite quite long, isn't it? There's quite a lot of distance between the shock absorber and, and the, the swing, swing if you look at it. In. Yeah, it's got a mount in there, special mount, looks pretty good. So this bike is, uh, as Chris mentioned, is short travel, it's 150 mil, it's got 29 inch wheels. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like the raised graphics of the logo on the bike. It looks super tight, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Um, it's got a Brose motor on there, mm -hmm. so 90 newton meters, and a 630 watt hour battery. So uh, I think it's nice to see, uh, I, the Italians are mad for it, aren't they? I think when we're we, out of the rock, it's all the Italian stuff, all the carbon fiber bling that those guys produce is next mm. level, isn't it? You know, we've seen it in the last few years with that amazing brand Cybro mm -hmm. from uh, Bassano di Grappa. Then obviously there's this, these guys from Lake Como. You've mm -hmm. got Polini Motors, which we went to see the factory mm -hmm. a few years ago. Uh, you've got many brands around Milan. So yeah, it's, it's another one. And, and I think they're making really nice looking bikes, aren't they? They do look amazing. And talking of amazing, did you see the uh, GCM video? Last week? You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's oh, talk, no. We're going to talk geometry. I've done these oh, we're going to talk geometry, okay. So, a couple of geometry figures in this bike. Uh, three sizes, 
yeah. uh, small, medium, and large. The large comes in a 457. So mm -hmm. they're not actually the biggest bikes out there. But I think, you know, this might be controversial, but I think I spoke to we've got a Josh Bryceland video coming out this, on the channel this weekend, folks. Tune into that. He thinks you can actually ride shorter e-bikes than you can mountain bikes. Anyway, ah. I'll leave that one with you. <laughs> uh, chainstay, 459, and a bottom bracket of 346 on this bike. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be a cornering monster. But sorry, Chris, angles. Angles, GCN video, climbing mm -hmm. on uh, e-gravel bikes, a Kona bike. Did you see this video? I didn't. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. I, I don't really tune into e-gravel that much, but uh, go on, crack on. <laughs> we went out to uh, Millbrook Proving Grounds, which is an automobile test center, and they test military vehicles on some of these grades. And we were searching for that uh, climb, something a little next level on from the slab. We managed to find this slope. There was a one in one, so a 45 degree slope, which was super steep. It's almost like a brick wall in front of you. Is one in which, one 45 degrees? Yeah, so it was super steep. And this thing was probably 200 feet tall, I don't know what that is in meters, but something like that. Doesn't matter, it was it's 200 feet. It was literally a wall, but um, I think we've got you signed up for that one there. Would you get your uh, Citroen Nemo up there? Uh, down it, possibly. Might be a bit of a sump inter interface, but yeah. Yeah, really folks, cool yeah. so tune in to uh, GCN uh, for the climbing video with Chris on it, on a gravel mm -hmm. bike, uh, and also tune in to EMB in this weekend for Josh Bryceland, the World Cup champion from 2014. Right, it's time to go all over the world to see where you guys and girls have been riding your e-bikes and kicking it off. We have a trio of e-bikers here. We've got... Uh, the boys! The boys are back in town. Uh, from TC Erem, he's got a Canyon, Albert, and a Scott, and the city of Izmir in Turkey. Yeah, the boys! First ride of the weekend after heavy rain, perfectly sticky. The terrain is like chewing gum. Looks like you've had an amazing ride there. Yeah, good to see. Uh, and this is Don next up, Chris, uh, mm -hmm. out in Utah. The, this is the Leahy side of the Corner Canyon Trail System. Draper on Salt Lake County side. And Leahy is on the Utah County side. Well, I'm confused, but uh, nevertheless, track rail in the mountains. I mean, strange. I always associate Utah with sun, but there you go. Bit of Utah. Snow. And then finally, uh, Fulop. Uh, Typical Lever 2018, that's one of the, one of the early levers mm. there. Still, still a great bike, that bike, in the uh, Fagaras Mountains of Romania. Uh, looks pretty stunning, Chris. Doesn't it? No, it's looking like an amazing ride down for Thanks, that folks. Thanks, folks, for sending you out and about. Uh, yeah, Utah, Romania, and, uh, and Turkey. Bring that's it on. Action. Bring it on. Now, Christmas is coming up in just a few weeks, isn't it? Two weeks away? Three, look at me. I don't, don't know, 25th me. every year, but we've got loads of I, I do know, this is my 78th birthday coming up very oh, shortly. So I hear. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, the uh, <laughs> man behind the camera there will we'll fill you in on, on the fine details of that, won't you? <laughs> Maybe if you're looking for those e-bikers in your life to get sorted for Christmas, we've got loads of deals going on in the your, shop. Your grandparents. So much, you know, yeah. Your grandparents, your granddad <laughs> might want a t-shirt. <laughs> Hoodies, They do hats. fit granddads. We've got all sorts in there, so get in there and check it out. But you better be fast. Unlike Louis. Out on the channel this week, as I mentioned a minute ago, we have got the 2014 World Cup Down Champion, Josh Bryceland, shredding his Cannondale Del Motera LT down the trails in the rain and showing us some incredible downhill techniques uh, for you guys to learn from. But before that, on Friday, we've mm -hmm. got some tools, haven't we? We have got some tools in the workshop. Not just me, but the tools that you actually need for your e-bike. Do you know, I think one of the most important ones is mm -hmm. that Shimano adapter, which means you can charge, charge in hotel batteries. rooms. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. been a lifesaver, hasn't it? Yeah. And on Monday, we're taking a look at what protection you should be wearing when you're out riding your e-mountain bike. Loads of different yeah. options out there, and we chat through them. So some feedback from uh, last week's video where mm. I took on... Um, the cameraman. The man himself. The man himself behind the camera there, Louis Belton. Mm -hmm. um, 32 seconds he beat me up the hill by. 32 seconds. And his biggest workout was just pressing that record button on the camera. I was devastated. Devastated. But some, some tasty comments from you folks. Um, can I let you take yep, charge of this, Chris? We've got Larry Migurak saying, Steve, 78 years old, really? I just turned 71 in September and I'm blown away that Steve is 78. Man, he looks great. Can great we... job, Steve. Experience beating youth here. I had you pegged for something in your 50s. <clears throat> 78 just blows me away. Let's move on, Chris. What about Mark Roberts? <laughs> Mark Roberts, how about, how about the same race against Neil on his lower-powered SL? I feel 
that Louis only had an advantage on the first climb. Uh, and then PMJ. Uh, PMJ, you're a man after my own heart. Uh, mm-hmm. Surprise, Steve, he's only 78 old, years old. He looks older. It's amazing what the e-bikes can do for you. It is, isn't it? Puts, puts the years on you. Folks, thanks so much for your engagement on the videos. Uh, keep it coming. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for a rematch with uh, our man Louis in the future. It is bike vault time, folks, and kicking things off, we have got Michael and his Trek Fuel EXE 9.5 plus mods. Plus mods in Prescott, Arizona. Mm. Let's breathe. Let's let the bike vault breathe a minute, Chris. Uh, apart from the photograph, um, Michael is testing the Fuel EXE with a high flip chip on this bike, which is quite interesting. Did you try it in both of these modes when you rode it? Of course I did. Um, but I like the colour. I like that blue colour. Mm, it's usually just that yellow, isn't it, I've seen? But yeah, but that's, blue. that's a stunner, isn't it? It is. And what are you thinking? Uh... <laughs> oh, Definitely super nice. Sure. Next up, we've got a bike from Marcel. Marcel's uh, getting super excited because he's obviously got a new bike, Chris, mm-hmm. and uh, he couldn't really resist the temptation to go out for a quick spin. I mean, why wouldn't you? Exactly. Why wouldn't you? Marcel, it's, it's a new bike. How could we possibly do anything other than a... Definitely. Sure. Uh, next up, we've got Rui. What another Obeah? Because it's out. the Obeah show this week. <laughs> from, uh, he's out in Algarve, Portugal, riding with friends on a beautiful Sunday morning. Come on, just go stop Chris. to take After a picture. you, Chris. After you. <laughs> really nice looking by that. Oh, a oh, bit wet here. Hold on, hold on. Let's see, let's see if the man can you, can you do it? Can you do it? Oh, that's pathetic. <laughs> Need some tuning on that one. Uh, Merida E16700 <coughs> on Load Pot Hill. Mm-hmm. Making the most of my time. Have in you the got anything to say about Load Pot, Chris? I haven't. It looks pretty Nothing wet and all. damp, doesn't it? It does look wet and damp. Looks perfect. It looks perfect. Uh, is it a perfect shot, though? I wonder if you've got wet shoes doing this. Uh, I'm guessing you've got wet feet, so I think just for that effort alone, it's got to be a super nice, right? And then a green Levo. Uh, Theodore in Transylvania. We had two Romania shots as well this we week. We have, haven't we? Again, Transylvania. Uh, out for a big ride, taking the stress off of his knee, which he's, which he's had problems with in the past. Transylvania's uh, most charming Saxon villages and a like nice a bit of wood. Mm. It's nice. Whoa, and right. I think the next shot is nice as well. It's the final bike, that is from Peter. It's got his 2021 Santa Cruz Heckler. The custom graphics on this thing. Silk, silk, silk graphics. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's the details, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's But I mean, I think, I think, Peter, if you'd have got like, got out of the woods a bit so we mm. can see the graphics a bit more. Because we do you like the really autumn, all like oranges, though, with the graphics? It's a little bit, yeah, a bit of uh, yeah. I don't know, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Uh, folks, some thinking? lovely bikes. Some nice lovely bikes this week. Lovely bikes this week. Folks, that is it. That is the end of the EMBN show this mm-hmm. week. Uh, do not forget to put in your uh, application. No, you don't apply to a competition, do you? Your entry. submission, your entry to the Orbea World Competition mm-hmm. on GMBN. It is is probably one of the biggest giveaways ever Definitely, on the yeah. channel. Uh, let's know your thoughts also on the mechanics of emotion from that brand um, vent. vent from the north of Italy. Yeah, because a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN and we shall see you next week. Give the old man a clap. 78. 78.